Here's three rowing frames headed back upstream for they made the trip down the river. Today was one of those perfect days. We took a drive over Mount Hood, and dropped into Moppet, and went down the Deschutes below Moppet. I threw the drone out over the river, have a little watch of some of the fun the boys were having and girls as they're playing in the river. Temperature was in the low 70s. Water temperature, I'm sure, was quite a bit cooler. You can see there were a lot of rafts out today. Several commercial operators. Looks like this is most of those red ones, I think, are all one, one of the operators. They float down the river. You take them, first, they take them to a take uh, put-in point up upstream. They float down the river, and they've got a takeout point down here. And it's a good thing that they do take out here, because probably a mile downstream or less is Shears Falls. And I don't think any of them would want to go over Shears Falls in those rafts, because it's just a tremendous amount of power in the water. So it was fun to watch them. Every raft is supposed to work as a team, and the guide in the back is trying to steer and trying to encourage them on how to go. As you can see, every raft, every group has a different approach. Oh, one overboard. Did you see that? Ouch, that could hurt a little bit. I'll bet that water is cold. Kind of get bounced around. Oh, gee, I don't know if it's a guy or a gal. Just kind of laying back there floating. They're yelling at him. Hey! Oh, okay, swim, swim. We'll try and stop it. Yeah. Stop her over raft in the current. That's a little fun. Well, looks like they made the rescue. I didn't have time to wait because there were more rafts coming down. Here's another one. Watch. People in the bow sitting up there on the front with their feet hanging over. They're the ones that really get the ride because they get thrown up. And that's what happened on the last raft. There were two people sitting up front and the one on this side fell off. I think they said you have to buy the beer for the whole crowd if you fall in. We did this trip here oh, 10, 12 years ago and it, it was well worth the money. My son and my nephews went with me and we just had a good time. Of course, it was 107 degrees in Portland the day before, and the day we went up there, it was in the low 60s. Colder than cold, because you were on the water and you got wet right off the bat. Here's the takeout point downstream. You can see they're working their way in, and the water gets kind of slack right there, so they don't have to fight it. Sometimes you see some competition between the groups, you know, different colored rafts over who gets to get in there because I've seen it where it's lined up all the way across there nobody can get in and it seems like it takes them forever to get them out and get them loaded onto the trailers to haul them back upstream you see them they're drifting getting ready here comes the kayak we watched him earlier lots of rafts most of them today were the red ones at this time I'm sure the yellow ones and the blue ones were there earlier. See how they come down. Here they are crosswise to the current. They're having fun. Hey, he spotted me. <laughs> Way too much fun. It's a blast down the river. Here's a little bit of bonus footage. Looking at the town of Mop and down at the bridge. The town is actually to the left of the bridge there. In the old town. There's some business to the right along the highway on the way out of town. I find it interesting the houses build up there on the rocks. Here's a quick look back at the one that went in the water. Just a little rehash on it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.